Imagine going magnet fishing with your partner and throwing that magnet nonstop and being exhausted, then finally throwing it and hitting something extremely heavy and wondering, do you have a grocery cart? Do you have a bike? Do you have a gun or a weapon of some sort? Or maybe a metal safe with a hundred thousand dollars in cash in it. That's what we're going to talk about right now in this true story. So if you can do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that are subscribing and become part of the team the family i really do appreciate it so at the beginning of the month here in june a couple went magnet fishing in queens new york at corona park they call magnet fishing a poor man's treasure hunt james kane and barbie agostini which i can't believe i pronounced on the first take started magnet fishing at the end of COVID or during COVID because they saw a lot of channels YouTube channels of people who go magnet fishing and finding lots of great things while at the same time cleaning up the waterways. And magnet fishing has become extremely popular here on YouTube. They have a channel and I'll put a link in the description below to their channel. And it's something that anyone can do, especially because you can buy a kit for probably $20, $30 and really inexpensive kit from Amazon and get out there and go fishing. Now it isn't easy and you're not gonna get something every cast because it's called fishing, not catching. But occasionally you're gonna find some extremely valuable things. And you hit the right place, you might be surprised what you find. Now James and Barbie have found safes before, but they never really found anything in them. They're usually broken or damaged or whatever it is, and they find them with zit and with nothing. And this couple has retrieved guns and grenades and lots of other things over their time since 2023 and when they started magnet fishing. But this is the first time they found a safe with plastic bags with piles and stacks of cash of almost $100,000. And when they pulled it in, it was a humongous surprise because something that heavy on a little magnet takes a little bit of work, but cha-ching. Now they knew they had to do the right thing, so they called the New York Police Department and the officers came out and agreed the safe had been stolen but there was no way to identify it. So anything that they found, they got to keep. James and Barbie are now taking that cash, that wad of stacks of hundreds and whatever else was in there, the pile of stacks of cash, and they're taking to the Treasury Department in, New in Washington, DC. They can reconstruct it and hopefully find out the exact amount that they have. Now, James and Barbie are gonna buy a car and they're also gonna upgrade their camera equipment and stuff for their YouTube channel. And they're, con gonna, and they're going to continue to magnet fish, hoping for that next giant score. Now, I'll be honest, I think I need to buy a magnet, but I think this is a really cool story. This is a story that amongst everything that goes on in the fishing, bass fishing industry, this is something that's really cool, I thought. And I'm really happy to see someone be successful at doing this because I've watched several magnet fishing channels or videos. And usually it's some sort of grocery cart or bike or something gun related. And they have to call up the police officers and the police officers have to verify it. And they take that gun or grenade or whatever they, they got that's a weapon into the police department headquarters. To find a massive safe full of stacks of cash is awesome. But are you gonna go out and get a magnet from Amazon and start magnet fishing? It's like hitting the lottery, what they did, James and Barbie. It's hitting the lottery, and it just really is a good story. Comment below and tell me what you think. Are you a magnet fisher? I'd like to know how you've done. Would you go out and buy a kit now and try it? I know it's, you know, it's like craps, it's like poker. Either you're in or you're out, or it's good or it's not good. But thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Great story, so comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.